A constant speed propeller is unique since it maintains RPM by automatically adjusting propeller pitch. These pitch adjustments occur via oil pressure changes, among other things, through a device called the governor. If you need to see how propeller pitch changes, then just click on the thumbnail. In constant speed propellers, we have two controls to use when managing our engine power output. We have to manage RPM via an RPM control lever, and then we manage engine manifold pressure via the throttle. Remember that we do not control propeller pitch directly, we are controlling RPM and manifold pressure. Now we'll look at the constant speed propeller in game. The constant speed propeller is in one of three conditions, we will go over the on speed condition first. As I go into the dive, the airspeed increases and the propeller windmills which would normally increase RPM, but the governor acts to stop this by making the pitch more coarse. And the opposite happens going back into a climb. The airspeed falls and you would expect the RPM to fall as well, but the governor acts by making the pitch more fine which keeps the RPM constant. The governor's ability to maintain RPM is limited by how much propeller pitch can change. The next two conditions occur when these limits are exceeded. The first one we're going to look at is called the underspeed condition. This is a condition which requires a low airspeed, so I'm going to reduce throttle and then put it up into a climb. We're going to reduce the airspeed and we'll see how the RPM changes. So as we're climbing, the airspeed's decreasing, the governor's making the pitch more fine but then an airspeed is reached where the pitch can't get any finer. So now we have a fixed pitch propeller instead of a constant speed propeller because the governor is no longer a factor. But if I begin a dive or increase the throttle, the airspeed will increase and we'll go back to being in the on-speed condition. The overspeed condition is opposite to underspeed because it occurs when you exceed the course pitch limits. So for the overspeed I'm going to set my RPM low to force the course pitch limit to be reached faster and I'm going to put it into a dive. So in the dive, the airspeed increases and the RPM remains steady thanks to the governor. But then the critical airspeed is reached for this course pitch limit and the RPM will start increasing. Now we'll level out and we'll look at how to manage the constant speed propeller. To decrease power, you need to decrease your manifold pressure, followed by decreasing your RPM, and then you lean out your mixture. So to increase power, you need to enrich your mixture, increase RPM, and then increase manifold pressure. By making these power changes smoothly, you avoid overspeeding the propeller, where RPM goes up or down too fast for the governor to compensate, and you avoid overboosting, which is a situation where you have low RPM but high manifold pressure, and this can cause engine damage. That's it for the constant speed propeller, so let me know what you think in the comments below and hit subscribe.